As a web developer, one of the most important things to check is, well, how it looks on the web. You can test things locally on your machine, but when you do push updates to a server for the whole world to see, and you make changes, some of those may not be reflected right away. That's because your browser caches data in order to make pages load faster. However, it assumes that some of the major core components like style sheets have not changed since the last update of the web page. Right here, I have a very bare bones looking website, but this is not what actually is on the web. As you can see, I have published this to the web before I did the style sheet. I made some changes to it and it does not look like how it does now. In fact, here's a private browsing tab of what it should look like. As you can see, it's pretty much missing all of the style sheet. That's because this web page right here is cached. So how do we fix that? Let's go ahead and show you how to clear cache on Chrome. So we'll go ahead and close out of this tab right here and we will go to settings. Now we will go to the search tab, easiest way to find stuff, and we will type site settings. That is what we want to go and find. Site settings right here, right below clear browsing history inside of privacy and security. So go to site settings and we will go to cookies and site data. That is what we want to clear. We don't want to remove everything. You may get logged out of Netflix or something. We don't want to do that. We only want to remove cache and cookies for a specific web page. So we'll click on that. Then we'll go to see all cookies and site data. Now we have every single website I have ever visited has stored a cookie on this computer, which is a ton, crazy. So we'll search for our URL, easiest way to do that. So this is ev.30 frames, and that will pull up the cache for that one specific um, subdomain, which is what we were looking at previously. So we have one cookie, we can remove that, it's gone. If we go ahead and open up ev.30frames.video again, we now have our style sheet, everything is loaded and everything looks good. And if we ever make changes again, we can just clear that and it should work perfectly fine. So that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, straightforward. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with That Tech and I will see you in the next one.